Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector. This is my dog, Dan. Hi. We are in Las Vegas, the home of the UFC and the mecca of MMA. In our opinion, and we've talked about this uh, before. What do you got, dog? Yeah, we, we both agree on this. Um, they go out there and, and finish a fight early in the first round. But don't get caught speeding. <laughs> don't get caught speeding on this fight. <laughs> They're against a guy who, who just had a, got bit by a dog with rabies or something. For me, it's a do not bet. And uh, betting advice, do not bet. But it's going to be one of those things, guys. I really, I really feel it. It's unanimous. MMA dogs have spoken. Five star. And it's, uh, that's going to be a knockout. Just something to highlight the night. MMADogs.com. MMADawgs.com. Who's ready to make some money? I know we are. If you're ready to consistently profit over and over again, you've come to the right place. Now let's go to my dog, Hector, from America's finest city. Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector, and as always, thank you for tuning in. A uh, big thank you to our clients, and uh, let's go ahead and dive right into this. So, we have UFC Fight Night, Kim versus Hathaway. Now, when cards like this roll around, we have a couple of options. We can uh, bitch and moan and say, oh, this card stinks and blah, 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 blah. Or we can look for spots where we can uh, bet, make a profit, and uh, be optimistic about it. So I choose to go with the optimistic part and uh, to look for the spots. And I have found a few. So let's dive right into this. So the way I'm going to do it this time around is I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first fight of the night and uh, we'll work our way from there. So for the first fight of the night, we have two guys making their UFC debut. We have Tertian versus Ediva. Now uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Tertian first. So he's 14-0. He, much like a lot of the um, Asian fighters, unfortunately, they haven't faced the, the top MMA fighters in the world. You know, most of those fighters are in the United States. And uh, when they fight overseas, they're not that good. So he's 14-0, though, not against the best competition. And uh, watching his fight footage and comparing it to what Ediva has to offer, uh, Turkshin will have the grappling edge. You have the grappling edge. Uh, Turkshin is one of China's top prospects, which isn't saying very much, like I said, because uh, the competition's just not it's not there yet. Not to uh, the UFC level, not to what we're used to here in the U.S. Um, he is moving up to um, 145 pounds, so that's why he looks softer than he usually does at 135. But the big thing here is the grappling edge uh, with Adiva. It's been three years since his last professional fight. So three years since his last pro fight. And uh, the Filipino team, the Philippine team, uh, La K MMA that he's with, hasn't done very, hasn't done good. They've done bad. Um, so that's not a good thing. And uh, he's going to have the, uh, the striking advantage, though. So, but even then, it's, it'll be a slight advantage. So I like Turkshim here. Turkshin for the win. Definitely not the bet, though. Definitely not the bet, especially at those steep odds where the line's hitting right now. And then the second fight of the night is going to be Chang versus Wang. <laughs> Chang versus Wang. And um, let's talk a little bit about Chang first. So Chang is Canadian. So he was born in Canada. And um, he has a, a few uh, professional MMA fights. Uh, he's even trained down at um, Extreme Couture, and he's moving up. He's moving up in weight to 170 pounds, so he usually fights at 155. Now, comparing uh, Chang and Wang, and Wang's only professional, uh, one professional MMA fight, <laughs> uh, Chang will have the grappling advantage. Uh, with Wang, uh, he'll have the striking advantage, but Wang is a disadvantage with the experience. You know, he, Wang only has one pro fight. And he's 1-0, but uh, it's not saying very much at all. So based off the little limited information out there on these guys, uh, I'm going to go with Chang. And then moving right along to a fight. Here we go. Here's one that I am very interested in. I am looking forward to this 
fight, and uh, that's Tokudome versus Nam versus Nam. Uh, Tokudome. Now, um, for this particular fight, I give the edge to Tokudome, and Tokudome is a dog. He's sitting at plus 170 right now. With, uh, with Tokudome in his fight against Park, Norman Park, he showed me an overall improved MMA game. So I liked what I saw of Tokudome. I didn't expect him to hang in there um, as long as he did. And uh, Norman Park is, to most people, an underrated fighter. You know, most people underrate him, and, and I've got Norman Park, um, especially since he started training down here at Alliance, uh, rated much higher. Now, Tokudome is going to have the grappling advantage in this fight. Now, with Nam, he, Nam, he's making his UFC debut. He is a very aggressive fighter, uh, and which is refreshing to see. You know, a lot of these guys, they, they, uh, they are respectful but almost to a fault, you know, they give their opponent too much respect and that can hurt them. That's not the case with Nam, you know, he's just very aggressive. We even saw it at the weigh-in, you know, he gets right in guys' face and, you know, um, now one of the downfalls is that in all his fights, he's swinging for the fences. Nam is swing, swinging for the fence, boom, going for the knockout, doesn't doesn't throw the jab, doesn't set up any, just goes for the home run and, um, and he should have the striking advantage here, but, um, uh, you know, I'm gonna go with Tokudome. Like I said, I see him being, um, I see him, I see him having more upside, and I see him having more, um, more room to improve from fight to fight. And what he showed me against Norman Park, I can't ignore it. Um, even though, like I said, Nam is um, aggressive and is explosive. Still, though, I, I have to favor Tokudome there. And uh, moving on to the next one, another fight that I am really looking forward to here, and that is um, Von Lee versus Nam Fan. Now, for this one, I am going to go with Von Lee. Uh, something to, to mention about Von Lee is I was really looking forward to the fight he was going to have with uh, Sergio Pettis and welcoming, welcoming him, him into the UFC. It's uh, too bad that didn't happen, but anyways, Von Lee ground game is good i like his ground game and his stand-up is improving he's got a good uh gauge of, of timing and distance and it seems to be improving from fight to fight now his last three losses are to sun sal dillashaw and Cariasso. so no nothing to to uh, to laugh at there nothing to, to you know say oh you know that that's top competition and this fight he will have the grappling edge and uh he doesn't he doesn't have knockout power and it, I'm mentioning this for a reason here. With Fan, the drop to 135 fits him better. He looks much better at 135. Should have done it a long time ago. He looked much better versus Mizugaki. Uh, similar to what I said earlier about Tokudome is the way I feel about Fan. He looked much better in, in his last fight. He's a tough guy. I mean, one of the fights that really stands out to me is when he fought Jimmy Ahedis. Uh, I was at that fight, and this guy just would not tap. I mean, he just has a big heart. He's just a tough son of a gun, and um, he will have the striking edge, uh, even if it's slight, over Von Lee. I don't think it's going to be as much as we expect. I think it would be a slight edge. And also, uh, Fan doesn't have knockout power either. So we'll talk a little about that a little bit later. And then uh, the next fight we'll see is one I'm very interested in. So here's three fights that I, I'm very much looking forward to, and that's Hatsu Hiyoki and uh, Menjivar. Now, for this one, I'm going with Hiyoki. I like Hiyoki here. He's going to be much bigger. Uh, he's taller. He's going to have the reach advantage. He's much stronger. And he will be able to control the fight with his grappling. And, um, you know, Hiyoki has faced top guys loss split loss and just very competitive fights menjavar is moving up to 145 from 135 when he fights top guys he loses at 145 hatsu hiyoki is a top guy with hiyoki being in asia he will be um, much more comfortable you will not have to deal with a jet lag with the travel and uh, it's going to be the opposite for menjavar so uh, I love Hatsuyoki here in this fight. And then moving along to the heavyweights. Of course, heavyweights are always tricky. 
Uh, Jordan versus Mitrion. I'm going with Jordan training at American Top Team, which is one of the best teams, training uh, facilities, um, coaches, everything in the country. He's a bit chinny, though, uh, but he will have the grappling edge. Um, and he does not have knockout power. You know, heavyweights, any one of them can knock out any, anyone at any time. With Mitrione, he trains out of the Black Zillions. We got a nice little ATT versus Black Zillions matchup. He's going to be, Mitrione will be more fluid on the feet. He's a little bit more fluid on the feet. Uh, his ground game is not good at all. It's terrible. Uh, but he will have the striking edge uh, at a distance. Once he gets up in close, you know, Jordan can land an uppercut and it could be over. So I'm going to go with Jordan here. And then um, two more to go. We've got Zhang versus Sai. Sai is a big favorite going into this fight for a good reason. You know, he's got decent striking and uh, he'll definitely have the striking advantage in this fight. He had Mike Swick at the weigh-ins, um, you know, Thailand, a.k.a. Thailand. And then with Zhang, he's got um, this guy. Sai is overall, his overall game is better than Zhang's. Um, uh, he's got decent cardio. He's a younger fighter in this particular fight. And he will have to get the fight to the ground or in the clinch, dirty box, or gas out Sai. So um, it's a tough it's a tough matchup because we've seen it time and time again where the tough fighters um, they have their their time away from from the fighter house and they either rapidly improve or work on their weaknesses or just kind of have a wake up call and uh, we saw it with um, with Gastelum and Hall you know just we we've seen it time and time again where the um, the dog comes in and they look better. Now, with, with these two guys, in my opinion, being more evenly matched than we're giving it credit, I'm going to go with the upset here. I'm going to go with Zhang. And uh, last but not least, the main event, we got Dong Yong Kim versus uh, John Hathaway. And uh, these guys have been in the UFC for a while now. They've been uh, flying under the radar for the most part. You know, they haven't headlined anything or haven't really been in the limelight. But they are both very good fighters. Uh, unfortunately for Hathaway, he's had a 17-month layoff with injuries and battling um, health issues and stuff, and um, that is not a good thing. Especially flying from from uh, England, you know, all the way to Asia against a guy who's on a roll. You know, Dong Young Kim's on a roll. He's fighting in Asia, like I said. He's he's uh, which is very good for him. He's gonna have no jet lag. Um, it's just a very very great position for Dong Young Kim to be in and um, if this if it wasn't if it weren't for the 17 month layoff and let's say that the fight was taking place in Vegas this would be a closer fight but the fact is that this fight is taking is taking place in Asia in uh, Macau China and uh, and Dong Young Kim is on a roll, and Hathaway is coming off the, the the big layoff, and I love Dong Young Kim here. I really like him a lot. So let's move right along to the to the pick. So there's no five stars uh, like there were uh, last week. There's no five stars here. There are two four stars, and that's Dong Young Kim and Hatsu Hiyoki. I really like these two guys. And then the three star pick is uh, Fan versus Lee over two and a half rounds. The over on Fan versus Lee. So let's go ahead and go down to the bets. So MMA Dog Bets, for this card, we are going to go with Dong Yong Kim, the stun gun at minus 290, and Hatsu Hiyoki at minus 420. That gives us minus 151. We're going to put four units on it to win 2.65 units. And our second bet and last bet of the night is going to be Fan versus Lee over two and a half rounds. That's minus 220. We're going to put two units on it to win 0.91 units. So that gives us a total of six units on the night to win 3.56 units. So nice and conservative, really um, selected, handpicked, looked it over the, um, the the bets and the picks for the, the night. Like I said in the beginning, you know, we, we can, um, you know, bitch and moan about, oh, this card and this and that, or we can make the most of it and uh and look for opportunities to make some money so that wraps it up and uh 
if you have any questions or if you want to check things out or if you want to look or if you want to uh, get involved, just go to our website. It's MMADAWGS.com. You'll see our, our track record. You'll see our guarantee. If we don't profit, then you get your money back for, for, the, uh, for the fee that we, we charge for these pics and, and, and video. Um, of course, I'll also be sending out the text file, the easy view file. So uh, it'll all be nice and nice and organized for you guys. And with that being said, it's time to go. It's time to roll. Good luck. Nobody likes to lose. So be done letting that money burn its way through your pockets. Slow down. Get ready. We are so confident that you will profit from our picks that if you don't, we will refund your money and give you the next card on us. In order to profit in the long run, it's important to be consistent with our picks. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was Vegas. MMADogs.com. Profit. Guaranteed. M-M-A-Dogs.